Hello fellow campers. So I got a little lost. It is so beautiful here in the mountains of Utah, but we're here for a purpose today because, well, first of all, we need to make breakfast and uh, we thought we'd invite you to join us because we also are going to preview and review this awesome Primus two burner stove. This is the Primus Tupica. As you can see, um, it's beautiful. It's got chrome and wood and it's just fairly nicely designed. Um, it also has some features happy to share with you. One is you can uh, put it here on the counter. It also has legs where you can stand it up, open her up and do some cooking, depending on where you are and what you want to do. This is what it looks like. Uh, we're inside our camper because this is how we camp. And so anything that you could do on a stove at home, anything you want to cook with two burners, you can do it here. Uh, just a quick thing, it has really easy uh, setup. So it's obviously self-contained, right? It's like this, it has a handle. Um, it also has wind flaps when you're outside. These puppies stay open and provide a little bit of protection from the wind, keep your flame going. It also has uh, this, what do you call this? Uh, this thing that your pan sets on. So you, the point is you take that out, you also remove uh, the actual tray and you can clean this really easily. So it's a uh, tapered. I don't know if you can see that, but all your oil or grease or spills or anything are going to go to one side and not get all on the inside. And I don't know if you can see in here, a uh, really nice metal construction. It's got dual burners, as you see, and then this thing just sets right back in. And then when you're, when you're storing it and moving it around, you can turn this upside down and put it this way. When you're ready to cook, you just set it right back here, put it in the holes, and you're good to go. Let me show you what it looks like underneath. Take care of the legs because we don't need that here. So let me just show you a couple things about the, the connection. So here's your, looks like solid body construction. And then it has the cord. Of course, this connects to the hose, whatever your fuel source is. For us, we have it connected to propane because we are inside a trailer and so that works for us. And then we're just gonna cook on the flat surface here. Pretty sharp looking, huh? All right. Uh, it does come with uh, the piezo lighters that uh, ignite. Was that automatically? I mean, you have to hit a button, right? But okay, so you turn on the fuel. Hear it coming out, and there it goes. Beautiful, huh? The flames, I don't know how well you can see in the video here, but I was very impressed with uh, the amount, the, the control you can get. You can go way down to where it's just barely flickering. If you want to keep something just barely warm, it'll do that too. And then if you want to crank it up, you have a lot of adjustments. You can get a really nice flame going. Can you see that? You can get some water boiling in just a couple minutes. I actually think it's better than my uh, at-home stove, so just use this all the time. And to show you for size too, it's actually really good size. I have a, a standard size teapot and I also have a pretty good size uh, cast iron pan here. So if I want to heat that up, because we're going to make some hash browns and eggs, I'm going to take this pan and set it on there. And you can see they both fit just great. I've actually even had both of these on there, the lid to that pan, and this at once. That's pretty impressive. And right, we're going to heat up some water, and uh, let's get some food started. We can see how it actually performs, right? Got to have butter and your hash browns when you're camping, am I right? <laughs> it's all about the stove. It's all about the stove. All right. Well, the butter. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in there and let that cook for a few minutes. But if you want to take a look at that with the food and water starting, this is what your stove cup top could look like, and it's very, it feels very secure. Like you're not gonna knock this over easily. Your pans don't fall off. I was impressed with how sturdy it is. All right, let's come back and see how well it actually cooks. 